Uh, let's go ahead and uh, introduce these rosters then uh, before we get uh, underway here. Ooh, just trying to pull it up. SDCA and Fringe B here. Again, this is the final roll of uh, women's action here. It looks like we're probably not going to have any re-rolls. Again, very nice, clean driving. Uh, wonderful to see that. Lane two, we're going to have Fringe B with bows on. On hill one, they have Marissa Muskai. On hill two, Sloan Macklin. On hill three, Hannah Mahone. Hill four, Tessa Whedon. Hill five, Amy Chen. And the driver, Madison Scott. And in lane one, your record holding women's team, SDCA. They're pushing Malice. On hill one, Mary Garrett. Hill two, Lisa Murphy. Hill three, Jennifer Mayberger. Hill four, Michaela Filieri. And hill five, Olivia Keller. And the driver, the record holder for both men's and women's on this course, Annie Black. And I can remember back to two years ago, uh, Annie Black's first year. She was driving Bane, and she had a couple of wobbles in the chute on some wet roads. And I said then, look out for her. She's going to be a really good driver one day. And here we are. SDC had some pretty nice road conditions yesterday. At this point, they're kind of racing themselves. Can they break that record even further? Coming here on Hill 1, a ton of separation. Looking to meet at 223.39. Shoving into the transition there to 2, Lisa Murphy. 19 second Hill 1 there, puts her very close to Queen of the Hill with uh, Pika. Really nice shove off right there. Ton, ton of power in that push right there, Lisa Murphy. And she's just driving on her own. Wow. <laughs> Malice also just a great looking buggy it when it's out there on build. the free roll. Malice cool. is, is coming up now on being one of the winningest buggies of all time. Um, ATO's Golden Goose is ahead of it. Um, I believe that there is a Pika buggy out there, though I don't know the name. Andy Borda can probably tell us later uh, that is also ahead of that buggy, but probably for not much longer. Sub one minute stop oh sign time of 58. My word, they are flying. They're not satisfied with that time yesterday. I think they want to go sub, uh, sub 220 if they could. I mean, it's funny, everybody was talking yesterday, 2.23 is a formidable men's time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, looking like a great shoot there. Maybe coming in a little wide on the outside, but French coming in too, nice and tight. Looking great by both the drivers. Here we go, Hill 3 had to do a little bit of a steppy step right there, but taking it in stride here, one shove two shove and just a three shove Hill 3. You love to see that when you get that much momentum. Nice transition into the four. Yeah, she picked up that bucket about 1 minute 29 seconds. Wow. And they are racing themselves here. We got history yesterday twice. Might lightning strike three times. We'll see right here in this transition we're getting now from the four to the five coming right up. And Fringe B is not putting up a slow time here. They're not even in the frame. That's how fast SDCA is in a league of their own. Let's see, they're going against themselves here again yesterday, putting up a 223.39. We're at 2.15. She Oli picked up that buggy at about two minutes yeah. for Hill 5. Olivia Keller on Hill 5, hands on the push bar, 223.30. And as a reminder, that is not an official time, so that could be another record-setting run. Again, we're going to look and see uh, what the final timing is. That would have beaten their time from yesterday by nine seconds, or excuse me, 0 .09 seconds. And uh, Fringe B Fringe coming B across coming at 241. 41. That's a really nice time out of them. So ladies that and gentlemen. That's a half second off their A team. Yeah. We're gonna get you the official time, but we very well may have just seen themselves break their own record. Another flawless run right there. That was really nice.